Kirk McCarty. Oh my God. I just love my point guard. Pass broken up, stolen. Here coming away with it. McCarty Brook drives in, dishes to Hicks, and LaShawn scores off the glass. Brooke McCarty is a little person with a big personality. Amazing shooter. The best shooter I've ever seen. Brooke holding against Van, shoots over, nails the three pointer, nothing but net. When people see her, the first thing they want to say is, oh, she's so cute. But she is a wrecking ball. The cuteness and things that people kind of visually see about her is the complete opposite when she steps in between the lines. People don't expect players that small to be that good. And I think she takes them by surprise. She's very fierce and she's very intense and serious on the court. When you play against her, it's like, whoa, it's like a shock. She's one of those few players at her size that has the ability to do so much more because of the work that she's put into the game. She needs no introduction. It's simply Brooke McCarty. Bun <laughs> in the house as well. The bun actually may even be pop more popular than you, which says a lot because you are the fan favorite. Now you're here senior year, how do you look back on the previous three years in terms of how quickly this has gone by? Um, I mean, it just feels like I was just a freshman walking on campus not knowing anything, not <laughs> knowing where to go, and just kind of being overwhelmed by everything, but it goes by really, really quick. What's the biggest change that you think you've gone through since you did first arrive as a freshman here? I think I've learned how to deal with adversity. Um, because when I first got here, my freshman year, being away from home, homesick and everything like that, um, I was kind of like just not knowing what to do, always referring to my mom and always wanting to know what to do just to get around. But now I'm kind of just like, okay, like when something happens or like a game, we lose a game or if like some adversity hits us in practice, I'm just like, cool, like I'm, I'm good with this. So let's go back to the homesickness now because we see the ring, mm -hmm. and so you've been dating your fiance pretty much since middle school, right? Yeah. How tough was that, being away from Cameron when you first get here to the University of Texas? Uh, it was really tough at first, just because in high school we spent every single day together, and so getting here, it was like he was somewhere else and I was here, and I would get to maybe see him on weekends because of, because of our crazy schedule, and so it was really tough at first, but I think as the years have gone on, we've kind of learn how to deal with it and we know what to do in those times when we really get to miss each other and stuff like that. So I think it's been a good thing for us actually. So we usually on this show, we break down game film, right? Break down the proposal for us because it came on the court. How did Cameron do with his execution and planning? Here's the video. Did he nail it? Yeah, he did. Um, he had actually just graduated from um, boot camp in A school, which is for the Navy or whatever. And so he got to come home for a weekend and he had never seen, been to practice, never seen me practice. He's come to the games, but he's never seen me practice. And so I asked him the day before, actually, I was like, oh, you, you want to come to practice so you can just come hang out and you have nothing else to do. And he was like, no, I think I'm just stay here and <laughs> chill out. And I was like, OK. So then um, the next day when I walk in practice, I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's like, I'm just, I just decided to come to watch practice. You asked me to watch practice. And then after coach introduced him and everyone on the team knows him and they know what he does. And so I was just like, okay, this is a little awkward because we were still in practice. And then when he did the proposal, it was just, I have no words for it. What makes him a special guy? What makes him the one for you? Um, he just understands like, I can talk to him about different things. A lot of people, I just talk to them about basketball, but like me and him, we never talk about basketball unless like it's a game and I'm upset about it or something. Like we never talk about it. We always talk about different things. We like the same things we do. Like he's basically me in a guy form. And so I really like that about him because I know like when I'm feeling a certain way, he know, he understands. How's his basketball game? Oh, he... <laughs> that says it all right there. <laughs> he thinks that he can play. He's actually really good at defense. He just fouls a lot. So, like, oh. he always tells me that you get five fouls for a reason. And so he, like, gets mad when I don't use my fouls. I'm like, you don't understand. You're not supposed to use them all. So. <laughs> but, no, he's um, – he played football. So he played – the defensive end or something like that for That's football. A position, yeah. Yeah, and so um, he's really like big on defense. His offense is coming along. So let's talk about another key relationship in your time here at the 40 Acres, Ariel Atkins. When did you realize that the two of you could be part of something special? I think it was after our freshman year. Um, we hit the Big 12 tournament and we kind of hit that freshman wall and we were just like, 
we didn't know which way we were going to go and it was just a stressful time and so I think after that staying after our freshman year and kind of just grinding it out um, our sophomore year I think we came back with a different attitude different mindset and so just from then on like I know I can go to her about anything and I can talk to her about anything on the court like it's just kind of that relationship that you want to have in the college with someone. How about with Coach Aston? What was the first reaction when she starts coaching you up because I know she's notoriously hard on her point guards what was that like the first time you had that interaction I think I was thrown off because I was just like I've never been I mean I've been yelled at and stuff like that but like it's a different level when you come to college because there's so many expectations that you have to meet especially being a point guard and especially being coaches point guard yeah. so um I think I was just kind of thrown off because I was just like at first, I was like, she's crazy. <laughs> like, I, I didn't know how to handle it. But then after that, it's just she's very passionate about her job, very passionate about the game. So it's understood. So how does she now push your buttons? If you're used to that, how does she get you going? I think now there's some days in practice when she'll just, like, it's just your day as a point guard sometimes. <laughs> and so those days, she just kind of, like, pushes you to, a limit that you don't think that you can go to but like when you look back on it she's just doing it to prepare you for whatever next level comes yeah. well we know there's a definite next level for you still a great finish coming up to your career here at the University of Texas so it's been a pleasure to watch you these four years congratulations on all the success Thanks. and the engagement as well thank you Brooke McCarty one of the best